Straight mortar ridges are essential to achieving proper coverage and air extraction. Wiping off the tile is crucial to effective bonding. Trowel mortar ridges from the center line of the tile to the outside edge, always perpendicular to the long edge of the tile. Before lifting the tile, be sure to recheck the suction cups and make sure the wheels are locked. Hold the tile above the substrate to make sure the tile goes down evenly across the setting bed, further ensuring no ridges are collapsed that will hinder air from being evacuated during the embedding process. Make any minor adjustments while the frame is still attached. When leaning on the tile to release the suction cups, always put weight only in the center of the tile to make sure no pathways for air removal are collapsed. Twist the frame in opposite directions on both ends to break the suction and free the frame from the tile. Walk the center line of the tile with small shuffling steps. Walk the tile slowly with small shuffling steps from the center line out to each edge and then back to the middle. This will collapse the ridges and evacuate air. This complete process should take four to six minutes for a one meter by three meter tile. When approaching the edge, back away as soon as you can start to see the mortar coming out. This will ensure that you don't over embed the edge of the tile, requiring more effort to achieve minimal lippage. When removing excess mortar in a direction parallel to the ridges, cut mortar straight down and pull away, leaving every opportunity for the air channels to remain open. Place the lippage control straps approximately 10 to 12 inches apart and 2 to 3 inches in from the corners. Installing them at this time will allow you to comb the mortar from the tile edge outward without the base plates being in the way. Lower the tile evenly into the mortar bed. Insert the desired spacer, 
minimum eighth inch on floors, while the frame is still attached, bumping the frame to bring the grout joint and tile ends into alignment. Embed the second tile. Remember, faster is not better. It should take four to six minutes to fully walk in the tile. Clean the initial mortar that is accumulated in the grout joint. Apply the lippage control cap, tightening by hand onto the tile surface. Using the sander in conjunction with the tightening tool will assist in getting full mortar coverage at the edge of the tile, encapsulating the lippage control base, and eliminate the lippage between the two edges. After removing the cap, clean any remaining mortar from the joint, including the mortar under the lippage control cap and around the strap. Replace the cap and re-tighten with the tightening tool. Careful not to move the strap left to right once inserted, as it could create a mortar void under the edge of the top.
when ending work to be restarted later, check the edge of the tile for flatness, vibrate the perimeter, and clean the excess mortar by pulling down and away. Using the high-speed orbital sander at the perimeter of the tile, while the mortar is still fresh, is crucial to achieving full coverage under the edges of the tile. Place a dab of mortar on the base plate and insert it under the edge of the tile. Bring the forks of the base plate up to touch the bottom of the embedded tile and tilt the strap outward. This will give you the maximum ability to bring the fresh tile's edge down into alignment with the previously embedded tile. Following the setting material manufacturer's instructions for when to allow grouting, break the straps off using the tightening tool and grout the joint. Keeping the finished grout joints flush with the top edge of the tile will greatly increase the tile's ability to perform under impacts from rolling loads. Mm -hmm. 